everybody, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be doing this makeup look inspired by the 90s supermodel. Um, I... Please make sure that you watch all the way through to the end so you can see step by step how I did it. And please give me a thumbs up, like, and subscribe, and let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is spritz my face with Wet n Wild. Put a focus coconut. If you have a little bit of moisture already on your face, then when you go in with other moisturizers, um, it'll seal all that in. So now I'm going to take a little bit of strobe cream from MAC and Peach Light. This is going to be a very matte look, so I really like to take care of the skin. And even though this has a slight sheen to it, going to be covered with the foundation. 90s foundation was pretty pretty full coverage and pretty matte. So next I'm going in with, I really like this, um, this is the NYX Hydra Touch Base. I have really dry skin so this to me feels super hydrating. So nice. So you put the spritz, then moisture, then primer, right before your makeup. All over makeup that I'm going to be doing is face and body. This is C2 for my complexion. This isn't a very full coverage, but this is what I have on hand. And this is just the first layer, so this is just going to even out your skin tone. I'm going to do my concealing, contouring, and highlighting because there were for this look, it's more, like I said, that matte finish. So I'm gonna do my highlight and everything with a matte product. First is just taking care of the under eyes. And this is what I always do. So one color that's more of my skin tone, maybe a little bit darker all over. This time I'm gonna put it right onto my lid for a base, cause you want a pretty flat, area to start with so you don't want to see any of your natural skin tone showing through it. And I'm just tapping because you don't want to pull the skin under your eyes because that creates little wrinkles over time. So see how it kind of takes away any of your natural shadows? That's what you want. I'm going to take a lighter color just to go underneath those puffs to create more of a flatter look. It creates that little bit of difference by tricking the eye to pretend that that's a little bit lighter under there. And I'm using a brush because I just want to apply it to a small area. And I don't really want to work it in. I want it to sit right on top. Same color, same brush. I'm going to make a nice highlight under the brow bone. And that's also going to give me idea of where I want my brow to go because for this look luckily in the 90s I plucked all my eyebrows out I was working for Mac and if you wanted to create the perfect brow you need to get rid of any brow at the end because it was actually quite high quite arced I called it the bitch brow so see how it immediately pulls the eyebrow up to create more of that huh look and put a little bit on that inner corner because this 90s makeup it was really precise very different than what I usually do but in the 90s it was all about that supermodel perfect makeup see I have a palette of all different color concealers this is all full coverage concealers I am going to take the darkest color finger Just pop that right there. Really about that chiseled, sculpted look. And then just patting it in with my fingers. Because again, I don't want to get it all over. I want it to just be in that area. And I'm going to go in with lighter colors around it, so it looks a little crazy now, but it will make more sense later. 
You can do this with a brush, you can do this with a sponge, but I like to do it with my fingers. I always just have a towel so I can wipe my hands. So for that highlight, I'm going to use that same concealer that I used underneath the puff. And pop out that cheekbone. Now with what's left on your finger, just move it around so that there's no hard lines. A little down the bridge of the nose. Wherever you put a highlight is where that part of the face is going to stand out. So you want it more on the higher planes of the face. Now I'm going to take that same color that I used first for my concealer. And I'm just going to perfect right underneath where I applied the contour. So there you go. Always take a step back to make sure that from far away it still looks good and you can still see it. Now I'm going to go in with a brush, just a fluffy 188 brush. And I believe that they still make this palette, but it's the Elvira palette, which I love. And this blush that I'm using is a matte pinky peach brownie. It's called Super Unleaded. So I'm just going to follow right on top of that dark contour. Start by the hairline and then with what's left on your brush, just blend it down. And that's it for the skin. I'll put my beauty mark on. If you fill in your beauty marks, it looks less like you have a ton of foundation on. Even though if you get up close, you'll see that it gets pretty textured once you start to put more and more foundation on. That's why I very rarely put this much on, but for this look, it was needed. Now I'm going to set it. This powder is the Tint Ultra Tenue by Chanel. So powder away, because you want a really matte look. I'm not worrying too much about my forehead because I have I cut bangs, so those are going to cover it. So if something's covered, you don't really need to put a ton of makeup on. I'm going to go in with a light. This color is called Dazzle Light from MAC does have a little bit of a frost, but not as much as like a regular highlight, but I'm using what I have and just setting that highlight, keeping it nice and light. I found that in the 90s, the skin always appeared a lot lighter. I think it was because the makeup that they were using with the flash, they didn't have like HD technology. So when the flash happened, it would reflect that light back so everything appeared a lot lighter. Mm. Eyeshadow, I'm going to be using the NYX Ultimate Edit Palette in Warm Neutrals. This is perfect for 90s makeup. I should do my brows first. The brows were kept pretty thin. If you're going for like that Drew Barrymore in the 90s, um, when if you did have thin brows, you just kept them thin. So. I just add in that tail because I do have hair up here. And it was a little bit thicker at the beginning of the brow. Pretty well sculpted. And gave that arc. I like this eyebrow pencil. I don't think they make this anymore, but a lot of eyebrow pencils come in this packaging because you can really get it nice and thin and you can even draw in when you're doing a different look, uh, individual hairs. You're gonna want a firm brush. 
because you want to pick up a lot of product and you want to apply a lot of product. So I'm using the first color here and you're just pressing it onto, I, like I, I've already put down that concealer, so the concealer is cream, and then when you press the powder on, it holds onto the shadow. And pack a lot on. <laughs> the fluffier brush, this is 224 by MAC. I'm going in with this warmer brown right in the middle, another, another matte color. You're using a fluffy brush because you don't want a hard line. You want to apply a little bit at a time. Start in the outer corner and just do small circular motions back and forth. You really want to carve out that crease though. But this is the first shadow that you're going to be using. So you're going to go in with a darker shadow and you're going to go in uh, with a smaller blend. But this is going to go all over. You really want to pull that out at the end. With what's left on your brush, just go over any hard lines and that'll blend that out for you. But I do want to keep this lid pretty large, so I'm going to go back in with my large brush and that lighter color. And pack more on. Now with a smaller fluffy brush, I'm going to go in with this darker brown color. And you're going right into that crease just to add a little bit more definition. And I apply a little bit at a time, and then I just go back in, add a little bit more to the brush, tap off the excess, there you go, it creates a really large eye. If you find that it's a little bit too hard, it's not diffused, go back in with a fluffy brush. And wherever that hard line is, just lightly go back and forth. You can always add in a little bit more of that warmer color, but you don't have to. And I'm gonna go in for underneath. I'm gonna take that same mid-tone color that I used first in the crease and place it halfway under the eye. And then blend it up. And you're gonna connect it to where you applied your crease. Then you can take the darker shadow go a little bit closer to that lash line just to deepen right by the lashes. You can even take that brush if you want it a little bit more defined with that darker brown and just add a little bit more to the outer corner. That way it goes from really intense to really blend it. So this is what it should look like so far. Now you're gonna go in, I am using MAC. You can use like dip down any kind of cream liner or liquid liner. I feel like creams give you more play time if you're not perfect with a liquid liner. And this is an old brush from Smashbox. So just get a thin, thin brush. And you're just gonna go in, load up all sides and create a, try to create a nice tip to the end of it. If you have too much on it, or if you need help creating that point, just use the cap that it comes with. So now I'm going to apply a winged line up to where I did the crease. So it's going to meet there. I go from I make that little flick and then I from that 
end of the tail, I'm going to drag it down. That way it doesn't dip too far down, if that makes sense. And then I meet it, I go to the middle, and then I start from the inner corner of the eye. And slowly make it from thin to thick. I'm just going to add a little bit more of that light color again right underneath that crease to keep it nice and carved out. If I have slightly smaller eyes, so I'm going to pop a little bit of a white eyeliner, my Paris Berlin, this is cream colored liner, and go in and add a little bit of that to the inner waterline. Just opens up the eye a little bit more. So let's do some mascara. Lots of mascara. This is the Chanel Le Volume. You can always pop on a lash too. I think I'm gonna add a little bit more of that darker brown before I put lashes underneath our mascara. in that outer corner. Mascara underneath. Lashes are tapered at the end, so they naturally go from thick to thin. So I like to take the tip of my mascara wand and just run a little bit extra product along the, the tips of the lashes if I want to make them appear a little bit fuller. If you find that, like myself, I feel like I made these a little bit too, because I wanted more of a thin wanted more of a thin eyebrow, so I'm going to take a little bit more of that lighter concealer on my brush and just take away a little bit of that color, that product. See how that creates more of a thinner brow. There. I feel like that's more 90s. So that's pretty much the eyes done, skin done, contour. Let's do the lips, that's my favorite part. Spice liner. <laughs> just, just do spice liner, because that's what we used in the 90s. Overdraw the lip. I like to blend it a little bit. And then go back in and just make it a little bit more precise. in the corners so that you get that pout. A perfect, perfect colors for this look, this 90s lip look. Kind of sexy for MAC. And then just in the center, a little bit of gel. This is a frost, but it's not too glossy. So it still catches the light. Makes it appear a little bit lighter. And then I keep that dark line. Just to make a little look look a little bit more smoldery. Okay, with that same brush that you used for the liner, you're gonna go in with any black eyeshadow. Load up the tip and just push it into the outer part of that tail. Oh. So it just makes it a bit smokier. You can 
can even bring a little bit of it into that crease. Come on, 92, yes. And that's it. This is my 90s makeup look. Please let me know in the comments if you liked it, if you tried it, um, what your thoughts on it are. And thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.